Nasal airways are soft, flexible tubes which slide through one side of the nose. This positions the opening of the tube in the posterior pharynx behind the tongue. The opening is often, though not always, in line with the trachea. Choose the largest size to comfortably fit your patient. A nasal airway is often better tolerated in semi-conscious patients because they don't stimulate the gag reflex as much. However, it must be used with caution in pediatric patients. Nasal airways can cause nosebleeds, especially in three to six-year-old children with hypertrophied adenoids. Always lubricate it well with a water-soluble gel. A local anesthetic gel is best because it also numbs the nasal passages. Avoid plugging the tube with gel. Use gentle technique. Direction of insertion is very important. Don't thread the nasal airway upward toward the frontal sinus. Instead, advance it along the floor of the nose, perpendicular to the plane of the face. Never force it. If you meet an obstruction, try rotating the nasal airway as you advance. Adenoidal tissue can plug nasal airways, causing obstruction and potential aspiration of tissue. If it appears plugged, suction the nasal airway to clear it. Choose a smaller size or try the other side if necessary. A long nasal airway can stimulate the epiglottis. If coughing or gagging occurs, slowly withdraw the nasal airway a centimeter or two.